thought I'd call, record a quick video today on the anatomy of a staircase because there's lots of different parts to a staircase that people know, may not particularly appreciate. So this is an older staircase in, uh, in an old property in Kent. Um, this timber here is a newel post. Now some newel posts uh, support the stairs only, but, but some, including this, actually have the floor joists for above all being supported on trimmer and trimmed joists. So it supports the, uh, the first floor stair loadings as well. The side of the stairs, we have this timber called a string. Now some stairs will have, uh, the string will follow the line of the treads and the risers on the stairs, and that'd be called a cut string. So you have one on the outer side of the stairs, and you have one generally against the wall on the inside of the stairs. In between the strings here, we have spindles or balusters. Uh, these, to comply with current building regulations, should not permit the passing of a 100 mil sphere between any point. And here we can see that we're less than 100 millimetres, albeit only just. The actual treads of the stairs all have different, different names according to different parts. So this is the tread, this is the riser. The riser, to comply with current building regulations, can't be any more than 220, and here it's substantially less at 170. The treads must be a minimum of 220, and here it's 300, so it's well within. Now, the minimum, sorry, the maximum pitch of a staircase is 42 degrees. That's this line, line up here. But if we had 220 on the risers and 220 on the treads, that will give us 45 degrees, so they can't be used both at the same time. Now, in addition to risers and treads, the dimension is generally referred to as the going, and the, um, the rising is generally referred to on the risers. So that's the actual, the rising is the dimension of the riser. At the front of, the, of each tread, we have a ball nose detail, and that should be a minimum of 12 millimeters. Now this staircase is a double, uh, double winding stairs, so we've got three winders at the bottom and then we have some winders at the top as well. The winders should achieve those minimum distances on the centre of the tread, so again here it is no problem whatsoever because we're, we're well over 300 millimetres. And there should be at least 50 millimetres of tread in the corners. The winders, these fellas that are the, the shaped ones, sometimes referred to as kites, both are correct. Um, and as with lots of bits and pieces in the building industry, there's, uh, there's multiple names for, for various elements of, of the stairs or particular individual components. So we go up the stairs. This one's a bit creaky. The old carpet's been removed and it's due an overhaul. And here we've got our further winders or kites at the top of the stairs. So a little bit interesting, there's lots to most building components, and in this case it's just a very quick overview of a staircase. So now you know.